guitars. Let's go build some junk. Okay, since we got to break out the uh, thickness planner for our top pieces, we might as well uh, have some neck stripes cut so we can thickness them as well. Now, okay, I've been using this template for a while. Long enough that I don't remember all the details of, of how I got here. Because I, I know I did a build at one time and I had a drawing. And from that I did the break angle on the template. Thinking initially that I would, you know, use it as a router template. But on this thin stuff it's just no... Not a good idea. So, <clears throat> I mean, I gotta be careful, you know, using pencil because <laughs> it, it moves so easy. Alright, so anyway, I, for quite some time, um, I, when I use this, I don't, I don't do this cut in the stripes. I leave everything just flat all the way across. Uh, partly for clamping, partly for, uh, it gives us a little more to, um, reference from. It's just, yeah. The way I do my necks, the way I, you know, do the full profile on each stripe and then laminate all that together, uh, initially came out of necessity because we were using that little bandsaw. And there's no way it could have cut the profile out of a full neck blank. This is, I've gotten used to this. I know, you know, with the thickness of the stock I have, how many stripes I need. Um, I like the proportions most of the time on how most of these uh, stripes go. Because usually, I have your two outer rails, uh, some thin runners, and then a core. And the core is tapered a little. Um, and that usually winds up being just about right. And in most cases, the proportions of that look really nice too. So... I mean, that's how I got to where I am and, and why I do what I do. I don't know for sure what we're going to do with this. Um, uh, because he's 15, maybe 16 by the next time I see him, um, it was just a few years ago that I gave him that, uh, that short scale guitar. He's big enough for full scale now, but I think... Uh, Gibson 24 and 3 quarter is probably the best way to go. Um, just, you know, for a beginner, uh, not having to deal with all the complexities of your weird tremolo systems and all that kind of stuff, just keep it simple. I'm thinking uh, either Tunematic or maybe my first ever wraparound. So we're going to have a break angle. So really all I'm doing here is just making sure that we have enough material to to do that break angle. And most of the time, it's not going to be much of a deviation off of that anyway. But, because this was a distant second candidate, this is some pretty interesting stuff. Uh, we're going to chop this off where it is, hold on to this for... We still need a back to, to this thing anyway. Since this is pretty straight... Um, except for a little bit of interesting stuff down here. That's where we're going to take our ash stripe out of. So I'm going to chop this off, rip that, and uh, we'll cut our core out of this. And I'll be back. Now, <laughs> um, something I didn't mention before. This original template, I used to have um, a steeper head, stop, head, head stock angle. And I've gotten to where I like it a little uh, tighter. Uh, looks like this used to be right about 15 degrees. Um, so... I just kind of arbitrarily did something different, and as it turns out, what I did is 
right about 10 degrees. So, so, um, reason I bring that up is my template is not that way. So we arbitrarily drew an angle on this one, which we're going to go with. But as soon as we cut this one, this one will, be kind of, will become our template for the others. This is planning on being the core. Um, I've got a long strip, strip of uh, red heart in there. Uh, right now it does not look that red, so we're going to cut it. We're going to cut a stripe anyway, just to see what happens. And if it's nice and red like I hope it is, then we'll uh, resaw that into our runners and see how we feel about that. But after we get this one, um, I need to get a couple stripes taken out of that wing gate as well. Assuming that red heart goes the way I want it to, we're going to have an ash core. Red heart runners, uh, maple veneer, and wing gate rails. Go grab that red heart. Be right back. I don't think it really matters where we take it out. Okay, but Okay, well, we got our stripes cut, um, rough cut, anyway. Uh, our Red Heart Runners, oh my god, that gorgeous. We may trim them a little bit. I usually wind up thinking, those are too fat. I mean, like, every time. But I don't know. We'll see. Um, but... We need to, the core is going to get tapered, and I may thin it some before we do that so it's not too, too thick. The thing is, the width of the core, including runners, needs to be a certain, it needs to be thin, um, and I don't have a real hard measurement for what that needs to be, but it does need to be thin enough that when we get down to profile, we don't go through the rails but anyway um this is kind of what i had in mind that that red heart really turned out as super red as i thought it would this shit is so gorgeous 
the smell is horrendous. It's uh, it, it's somewhere between. It's like bad breath, but it also has a real mothball kind of stench to it. It's I don't know how to explain it, but it's gross. But oh my god, it's worth it. It's so damn gorgeous. But anyway, this is my plan. Um, I mean, this is kind of what I was imagining, and it turned out awesome enough. I'm pretty sure this is what we're going with. Uh, Wingate Rails, Red Heart Runners. Uh, we'll probably put uh, maple veneers between those, just so there's a thin white line. And I kind of wish I had some Wingate veneer to put between the Red Heart and the Ash. But I don't, so... And then a tapered ash core. I think that's what we're doing. And then, I think, I'm not entirely sure, but I think we're going to use the Zerico for a fretboard. But that's getting a little ahead of ourselves. I, I don't know for certain what's happening there just yet. Okay, well, I guess that's it for today. Um, Next time we will, uh, we can taper our ash core and get our veneers together and get the neck blank taped up, taped up, <laughs> get the neck blank glued up. Anyway, um, like I said before, if you haven't checked out the uh, Build What You Got Challenge 2020, Links will be in the description for all the guys involved. Make sure you go see them too. Um, oh, and just in case anybody's still confused, because you may have missed the explanation. I know some people have because they're asking. In the middle of the week, I've been doing uh, posting some videos from an older build, and that'll be going for a while because we got three or four older builds to get through. But early in the week, I'll be uh, posting the progress on this one, which is the current. Anyway, as long as you got that straight, uh, check out the old bills during the week, and I'll, I'll meet you back here next week. Yeah. Thanks for joining me. If you like what we're doing, if you're digging it, like and subscribe. Catch you next time.